Hello and welcome to People's Voice, where true stories touch deep emotions. Today, we delve into, she cheated, doesn't care, and is still texting him, and plans on seeing him. Come, let's explore these real life stories. My wife, 26, and I, 28, have had a rocky relationship the past few years, and it was never too healthy, to begin with. We've been together for almost nine years and married two years, with two young children, six and four years old. I just found out that, as of the middle of May, she has been secretly intimating with her male co-worker. She began going out every night, barely responding, lying about where she was, and staying at this guy's house doing all of the things we used to do together. She's been coming home at 6 a.m., extremely drunk, and there were a lot of obvious signs that I ignored because I wanted to trust her. Her vibrator suddenly went missing. She's staying out. She's not responding. She started drinking a lot even though she was never much of a drinker before. She picked up cigarettes for the first time in six years. We barely had physical relations anymore, and when we did, she acted like she didn't even want to be there. She insults me and verbally abuses me over anything and everything, and she only viewed me as a pathetic incompetent piece of trash. Earlier yesterday, I mentioned that I was considering leaving because of her recent actions and her not changing after I repeatedly expressed my hurt and concerns. She begged me not to throw her away and to make it work. I met up with her later at a friend's house where she's dog-sitting. She told me that she wanted to make it work and apologized for her behavior because she's been low. She then told me she had two proctored exams to take and that she was going to go take them at a cafe. That was a lie. She went to his house. I went through her phone last night at midnight while she fell asleep on my chest after we were intimated. Yes, I know it was wrong, but I just had to have answers. She has been sleeping over at his house since the middle of May. She has lied to me about having work and spent the day with him. She's had slept with him. She's done everything with him. She spent the night at his house the day before Father's Day, and on Father's Day morning at 3.11 a.m., they filmed a video of them being physically involved on her phone. She came home at 10.30, hopped in the shower, went on a date with me, and then went right back to sleep over at his house that same day. They both talk badly about me, and he calls me a loser. She says she doesn't want to have intimacy with me and prefers it with him. She told him that she would have left me a while ago if we didn't have kids, and she doesn't think men will want a woman with children. She's expressed a desire to be in a relationship with him, but he just brushes it off and says, they're just friends who sleep together. He blows her off some days, and she gets jealous and insecure over him. She confides in him and leans on him. I don't know what's worse, the physical or the emotional cheating. This guy had a girlfriend when they started the affair, and he knows of me and my kid's existence. I've seen this guy stare at me at her job before when I went to visit, and I never understood why. He's a drug addict who does a lot of cocaine, he is an alcoholic, he has court for attempted manslaughter soon, and he is a cheater. He talks about his ex to her and gets upset about his ex. He can have her. She's just going to end up abandoned and alone, all because she threw me away for some person who gives her that temporary high in the honeymoon phase. I would have given her everything, and I am as loyal as they come. I'll be filing for full custody, for separation slash divorce, and will be filing for an emergency custody order today or Monday after she leaves for work. After she fell back asleep at 8 a.m. after insulting me, blaming me, and lying the whole time, I went back into her phone, went to the very beginning of their thread, and took photos of everything. I sent myself the video as well, and it's clearly not me in it and very clearly her. I am broken in every sense, extremely angry, disappointed, betrayed, and everything in between. But at the same time, I am numb. I got my closure, and I got my proof that I am nothing to her. That was all I needed to stop the tears. At least for now. I have never been cheated on before, especially not to this degree. My heart goes out to all of you experiencing the same or something similar. Stay strong and keep moving forward. We will get through this. Oh, side note, she has untreated BPD. She self-medicates with herb. I haven't slept. I've been up all night and day crying. I have no more left for now. 
I'm sure it will come and go in waves, but I've watched her video 50 times and read the texts 100 times. I'm desensitizing myself to it, feeling what I need to feel, and coming to terms with the fact that it happened and I can't change it. I am broken, but I am putting myself back together. I am going to focus on being the best version of me because that's what I deserve and what my children deserve. I'm sober, in great shape, still young, and I am very patient. I'm a catch and I know it. She will never change. Spent nine years only watching her get worse. I don't even want her. I'm disgusted. She gave herself away repeatedly to someone else and the things that I saw and that she said have given me a scar that I will never be able to hide. I don't even want to touch her. Even just letting go of my romantic attachment to her is liberating. I've been wanting to leave deep down and this was my golden ticket. As the days go by, I'm realizing that this was a blessing in disguise. I am going to get emergency custody and have met with a lawyer already. When I had physical relation with her, I didn't know she was intimated with him. I found out right after we had physical relation. I had assumed it was just another woman. My therapist has been a huge help for me in my marriage and in my recovery process. Being validated by a professional that I am not the problem has been keeping me grounded and dismissive of my wife's words and opinions. My wife is a sick, disgusting, and disturbed woman, and it is not my fault that she cheated and destroyed our family. It is still kind of fresh, but as of today, I already feel a lot better. I mourned our marriage of the month and a half of being alone and never coming home so that help and prepared me. She will never be able to destroy my self-respect, and as much as I do still love her, I love me a whole lot more. She has nobody but him now. Her parents are furious with her for destroying our family over some random guy. My family absolutely despises her and have been documenting her behavior for years. Thankfully she's too drunk, drugged, and up that man's ass to even consider what I'm about to unleash. She is selfish and only prioritizes intimation with this man and begging for his affection and commitment. Good riddance. Update 1. She came home for the last two nights and has expressed jealousy over me and pain because it's settling in. We talked today and she cried. She told me that she loves me and wants me more than anything, but that she can't stop doing what she is doing and believes that it is healing because her therapist told her so. She said that she has been responsible her whole life and now she wants to make bad decisions and be reckless. That she wants to have the freedom to hook up with whoever whenever and that she plans on staying out until 6 a.m. multiple times a week still. She is having a crisis and has destroyed her family in the process of enacting her selfish and self-destructive behaviors. I told her that what she is doing is and has been affecting our children and she just got defensive and said she's a good mom. She told me that she isn't coming home tonight and that she arranged for her friend to be here in the morning so I can go to work. That means she isn't coming back at all tomorrow. I told her not to worry about it and I'll take the day off. I'm heading straight to the courthouse. She is neglecting her kids to the fullest and I am disgusted. If you love this story and crave more tales of love, betrayal, and healing, don't forget to subscribe for more from Cheating Stories.